these two beautiful looking creatures are puss moth caterpillars and I've been rearing them. A, a friend kindly uh, gave me some shortly after they've hatched out. They've hatched out from their eggs. And they're absolutely minuscule. If you can see, if you look closely, I'll see if I can zoom in. These little, little round balls of poo. So the eggs were way smaller than that, so you can just see how much they've grown. And I've had them for around um, four to six weeks. And I've been watching them as they have um, shed their skins. So, so each time they reach a certain stage, so, so to start off with, they were almost completely black and then dark brown, and bit by bit, um, each time they, they grew and shed their skins, they emerged looking slightly different. And I think this is one of the final stages now, and they're, they're actually not far off ready to pupate. And I've looked up, and I, I know that I'll I'll know the right time is right when they change colour and become kind of a purple colour. So when that happens, I need to add a little piece of bark to this container because what this particular species does is it uses um, the, the bark, so it'll bark, it'll eat some of the bark and then mix it with a silken substance that it produces um, to make its cocoon. Uh, so they, they will both do that, I think, sometime in the next few weeks, sometime towards the end of June. And then they will stay in their cocoons through the autumn and the winter, um, through to next spring, when, when they will emerge as gorgeous adult puss moths. Um, and if, if you think these are beautiful, and, and they really are magnificent, Look up puss moth. Look up the puss moth and have a look to see what the adults look like because they are absolutely gorgeous. They're kind of a, um, they're furry and mostly an, an off-white colour, but with um, little little bits of yellow and just gorgeous markings. Um, so yeah, hopefully these two will make it. Um, we'll see. So there you go, puss moth caterpillars feeding on one of their larval foods, which is willow.